Hi guys, my name is Custos Ars. I'm an artist and I live in Normandy. In this video, I will show you my artistic process through different steps. I chose to link my two passions, art and fashion. This is how for me art meets fashion. And what better way to introduce myself than to make a self-portrait? This video is an introduction to my universe and the things I love. I start by establishing the preparatory sketch to better approach the painting afterwards. This allows me to define the brightest and darkest areas as well as the proportions. So yeah, it's a good exercise. I like to create in a cozy atmosphere. That's why I decided to light this candle. It smells good. I love being surrounded by books and having my own little library. I go there to read a few pages of a book or to find new references for my project. I really like this painting by Joseph Rotfer de Camp. It's very inspiring. I start by laying out the art supplies I'm going to use for this painting. So I have an airy and organized space. It really helps me to be focused on my tasks and be more productive. I took a small canvas so I could focus more on the details and I place my preparatory sketch next to it so I can arrange the elements properly. I like to draw with this pink pencil so that later I can know where I need to lay out the colors. I have always been fascinated by art and in this case painting and drawing. As a child I could spend hours drawing. Later when I was a teenager I discovered many painters by going to exhibitions in Paris. I still continue to go because it allows me to have new references and to explore the vast universe of art. Mm -hmm. 
I think I'm so touched by art because it's a means of expression where you can express what you want, your emotions, your feelings, what you think. Painting, for example, remains linked to emotions. And you, when you paint, what do you feel? Painting is above all self-discovery. By painting this self-portrait, I wanted to reflect the image I had of myself at that time. Self-portrait, it's something that has always been an important issue for painters because it's a way to prove their mastery of the likeness but also to assert themselves as artists. From the 15th century to the present day, the self-portrait is a subgenre of portraiture that explores a relationship to singularity and self-representation long before social networks and selfies. So I let you enjoy this moment of painting I have been passionate about the fashion world for years now and so I have discovered through fashion designers another aspect of creation that I really like. Even if I don't make clothes today, I wanted to tell you that for me fashion is intimately linked to art. Hence my concept when art meets fashion and for sure the references multiply between them. So I didn't want to choose between these two artistic fields because I love them both. I start with something simple because I have never sewn before, so it was a good way to start and practice. Later on I will try my hand at more complexing things like clothes. For now, I prefer to start with an essential sewing accessory, the pin cushion.
I really wanted to explore different aspects of creation, like embroidery, and I really enjoy it. It's a very delicate medium and I had a very relaxing time. It's some things I would do from time to time to embellish my future sewing creations or maybe make an embroidery painting, who knows, we will see. Where the needle goes, the thread follows. So I like this quote because this is a good example of my life. I want to do the things I love and we will see where it takes me. I would be so grateful that my job is my passion and that I get to create art for a living.